Psychological tips to help you read someone like a book. Isn't it frustrating when the words someone says doesn't align with their actions, stance, or expressions? This is because body language plays a major role in the art of communication. Welcome to Info Junkie TV, your go-to for thought-provoking content and mind-blowing videos that keeps you coming back for more. But what is body language? According to Wikipedia, Body language is a type of nonverbal communication in which physical behaviors, as opposed to words, are used to express or convey the information. Such behavior includes facial expressions, body posture, gestures, eye movement, touch, and the use of space. Many people assume that communication is strictly oral. However, experts find that 50% of communication is translated in body language. 38% in intonation and tone, and only 7% is derived from which is actually being said to us. It's important to be proficient in reading body language and being aware of your own nonverbal signals. It will be an asset to you and will propel you to greater heights through effective communication. This is an invaluable tool that will help you in many ways. There is nowhere, no career, no entity in life that could be piloted without the art of communication. Thus, this video has something for everyone. Why is it important to understand body language? Well, those who are proficient in reading body language and analyzing how they carry themselves make better first impressions, excel at public speaking and job interviews, are graceful, and develop higher levels of emotional intelligence. They seem more reliable. Their presence puts us at ease. They embody grounding, which is magnetic. They walk into rooms like they own them. This is where posturing and power stances come in. Body language is everything. There is a famous saying that is so powerful. It says, what you do speaks so loud, I can't hear what you're saying. These cues are signs to look out for with positive body language. Number one, eye contact. Although avoiding eye contact or overdoing it could have negative implications, maintaining sufficient eye contact shows that someone is genuinely interested or engaged. This is a major thing to look for in your social circles and potential friends. If someone can't hold eye contact, chances are they probably aren't the best company to keep around. Psychologist Paul Ekman has discovered that the eyes can tell a true smile, what he calls a Duchenne smile, from a fake smile. The key? the crow's feet at the corners of your eyes when smiling and experiencing true happiness. Number two, posture. Posture speaks volumes. Bad posture exudes a lack of self-worth. It is assumed that the person is trying to take less space because of that false belief. Good posture exudes authority and eagerness. It is assumed that a person that maximizes the amount of physical space their body fills is derived from that belief. This is where the saying, stand in your power, comes from. So, do make an effort to align yourself to succeed and attract like-minded people. Number three, handshake. Your handshake is a major first impression that you have the power to control. Someone who shakes your hand with an appropriately firm grip is illustrating a sense of confidence and grace. In contrast, a weak handshake eludes nervousness and a strong handshake could stem from intentional aggression. Chris Kristoff of Monster Insights advises, too weak of a handshake signals that you're not professional and may be new in your industry. However, too strong of a handshake could warn the person that you're aggressive. Find the happy medium to make the best impression. Number four, mouth expressions. Mouth expressions and movements can also be essential in reading body language. For example, Chewing on the bottom lip may indicate that the individual is experiencing feelings of worry, fear, or insecurity. When someone is genuinely happy, their face and body language will convey a great sense of energy. Their faces will be facing upwards, whereas if someone is forcing a smile, their face and body language will be droopy, with shoulders falling down like teardrops. Number 5. Personal Space the term proxemics, coined by anthropologist Edward T. Hall, refers to the distance between people as they interact. Just as body movements and facial expressions can communicate a great deal of nonverbal information, so can the physical space between individuals. The closer people can stand comfortably while interacting can be an indicator of the level of intimacy in their relationship. 
there are four levels of social distance. The first space is the intimate distance, and that is from 6 to 18 inches. The second space is personal distance, and that is from 1.5 to 4 feet. The third space is social distance, and that is from 4 to 12 feet. The fourth space is public distance, and that is from 12 to 25 feet. Up next are examples of negative body language cues that could help you possibly halt uncomfortable situations or pivot a bad conversation. Of the signs of negative body language, a slumped posture demonstrates a lack of confidence or boredom. Averted eye contact indicates that a person is uncomfortable, self-conscious, or even possibly lying. Crossed arms is a sign of defensiveness, and a forced smile is rooted in insecurity. Number 6. Excessive eye contact, or none at all. The types of people who direly differ from having eye contact or hold it for uncomfortably long times are usually not being truthful. Justin Blanchard of Servermania Incorporated advises evidence from psychology shows that moderate eye contact communicates confidence, interest, and puts people at ease. Number 7. Crossed arms or legs. Even if the response is positive, crossed arms or legs usually mean that the person is uninterested in what you're saying. Folding your arms as you speak is indeed a faux pas. Andrew Schrage of Money Crashers Personal Finance says, this portrays a rather defensive stance and you don't want to come off as being amenable. The best way to avoid it is to train yourself to hold your hands behind your back instead. Number eight, excessive nodding. Excessive nodding means one of two things. Either the person wants you to stop talking so they can talk, or they're seriously lacking confidence and are afraid of how you perceive them. Number nine, furrowed brows. The micro-expression deduced by wrinkles in forehead and eyebrows moving in closer together is a sign that an individual is experiencing difficult emotions. This cue comes across as intimidating or hostile to your conversation partners. It discourages them from speaking openly with you and results in defensiveness. Diego Arjula of Cables and Sensor advises, it's important to keep your expressions neutral or to verbally reassure people you understand and support what they are communicating. Number 10, fidgeting. Too many small hand movements or fondling with objects nearby is a visual illustration that a person is seriously disinterested and disengaged with everything they're hearing. Number 11, staring at your phone. If you're in a networking or public event or gathering and you're bearing your nose in your phone, it is considered rude. Ryan Bradley, Coaster and Bradley LLP advises, strive to engage with others at the gathering and refrain from ever overtly checking your phone. Of course, if there is an emergency, there can be exceptions, but it is amazing how easy it is to make a great connection when there are fewer distractions. Number 12, not listening. The make it or break it in a relationship or business progress is the ability to listen. Delia McPhee says authentically listening can impact a sale, employee performance, and supplier relationship better than any other form of communication. Number 13, talking too fast. Talking too fast is a sign of nervousness. Pause between your sentences. Let people talk. Don't interrupt. Kenny Nugent advises, look them in the eye. If you can't do that, try looking at their forehead. It looks like eye contact, but it's not. Number 14, invading personal space. Kaylin Kasabov of Pro Texting advises, when you're talking with someone, make sure they know that you're listening. This requires a certain amount of eye contact, nodding or smiling. Even if you don't agree with someone, it's important to give cues that let them know you hear them. This is a basic sign of respect and not doing this leaves a poor impression. Number 15, lack of response. Whenever you are talking to someone, it's important to know that you're listening. This includes eye contact, nodding, and smiling. This is equally important even if you do not agree or they do not agree with everything you or the other person is saying. It is merely a primitive sign of respect. Number 16, using the word but. Using the word but causes problems at times. It sounds like an excuse or indifference. Vladimir Gentleman of Company Folders Incorporated suggests that it is essentially putting the blame on something else for why that person didn't receive the product. 
equip yourself for the most important and highly paid commodity out there, which is the art of human connection, the art of communication. This doubles because it positions you for success and elevates the stance of your mental health. And it isn't easy, it's very challenging. It requires oceans of patience, consideration, self-awareness, and integrity. A good preliminary step to take would be to make an effort to comprehend body language cues, take responsibility, and be aware of your own. Engage how to further propel yourself on your journey towards effective communication. Notice these cues, monitor your stance, and reinforce your words with your actions. Thank you, Infomaniacs, for tuning in to Info Junkie TV. If this helped you, Infomaniacs, in any way, please make sure to share it, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell for more thought-provoking content. Don't forget to share this with someone who you feel could benefit, and comment to let us know what your thoughts are about the video. Stay safe, Infomaniacs, and we'll see you real soon.